Welcome y'all to this video. We're going to cover another leak code challenge in Python. Let me try that again. Got the kids over or kids are having a good time. So we're going to cover a leak code challenge in Python. Today's problem is number 1672 richest customer wealth. So I'll read through the problem. I'll go through an example. I'll show you how we design a solution and then we'll code the solution. So let's talk about the problem. It says you're given M times N integer grid accounts where accounts I and J is the amount of money the Ith customer has in the Jth bank. Return the wealth that the richest customer has. A customer wealth is the amount of money that you have in all their bank accounts. The richest customer is a customer that has the maximum wealth. We try to explain that through an example. So what they have here is they have accounts and they have one, two, three, and three, two, one. So accounts, first set is one, two, three. The next set is three, two, one. All right, so what is this? So we've given the ith customer and J bank. So the way I look at it here is these two here are the customers. And then these three here are the amounts that they have each customer in their bank. And what we want to do is we want to total this number up. So this is six. So three, two, and one is six. This number three, two, and one is six. And then we want to compare those two and find out which one has more. In this problem, or this example, they both have six. So the answer is six. And that's what we have in the output. Let's go through one more example. One and five is six. Seven and three is ten. Three and five is eight. So the highest number there is ten. So here it gives you the explanation. Six, ten, and eight. So your richest one is ten. So it's your second set of numbers. All right, well, let, let's talk about how are we gonna solve for this. So I'd say the way that I'm going to explain it is we are going to write a for loop and we're gonna loop through this array here and we're gonna sum all those up and then we're gonna store that number, what we call total wealth. And then we're gonna loop through this one here, we're gonna sum that up and then we're going to compare it if it's less than or equal. If it is less than, we will pass it. If it is greater than, then we'll uh, bump up our total or we'll call it max wealth. So hope, let me uh, kind of pseudo code how that would work in the example. So first thing what we'll do is we'll set a variable called max wealth. And we're just gonna to zero. Okay, so that's where we're gonna start. We're just gonna set a variable. Then we're gonna loop through, so for i in range, and we're gonna do the length of accounts. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna loop through this one, the full length, and then it's gonna loop through this one, the full length, uh, on the next iteration by doing the length of accounts. So what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna find the total wealth in this first set of numbers, and then we'll loop through and find the total wealth of the second set of numbers. So what we'll do is we'll have a new variable called total wealth. And what that is going to equal is the sum of this. So we'll do sum, and we will take the accounts at position i. So that's gonna add this up, three plus two plus one is six, and it's going to get, it's going to enter six in the total wealth variable. All right, next one, what we're gonna have is we're going to find max wealth. And how we're gonna calculate max wealth is do max and max wealth and we're gonna compare it with total wealth. I have enough room here. 
So what we're going to do is the first one we found total wealth is sum of this count. So we've done this, we've added these numbers, and that's given us the sum which we've stored in total wealth. Then the next one, what we're going to do is max wealth is currently zero. So we're going to have zero and six. So we know that it we compare these two. So six is the larger number. So we're going to store six in the max wealth variable. All right, and then we go through the for loop again and we look at the next account and we're going to add that one. So here we're going to sum that three, two, and one, which is six. So that'll be the total wealth there. Then we'll take this now changes to six and this one is six. So we'll compare those two. It's the same max, so it'll also be max wealth. And so then what we're done, we've gone through all of the accounts and we will do is we'll return max wealth. So I've got already coded the solution, not really much needed for pseudocode uh, because it's fairly, fairly straightforward, but I'll go ahead and code it and we'll, we'll run through the example. So, all right, so let's go ahead and start with max, max wealth is equal to zero. And then we will say for I in range and we'll say length of accounts. And then we will look for total wealth. And that will equal the sum of accounts at position I. And then we will look for max wealth. And that will be max, max wealth. And total wealth, we'll compare total wealth to it. And then finally, we'll return max wealth. All right, let's go ahead and run it. Should run it against all test cases. I do have an error for I in range. I don't need that in there. Okay. Oh. Let's run it on all test cases. And it is accepted. All right, well, that's going to do it for this solution. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you have any questions, leave those in comments, and I hope to see you in the next Code Challenge. Farewell.